At full term, a baby's brain has 100 billion, billion neurons, but the brain is not fully developed. This is evolution's answer to making birth safer for both mother and baby by reducing the size of the baby's cranium. The baby's brain therefore has to be wired up after birth and as a result will increase in weight from around 400 grams at birth to 1000 grams at one year of age. This increase in weight is caused by the bulk of the synapses, uh, the connections be between the neurons that are being developed. Synaptogenesis is the process by which connections are made between neurons in the nervous system to form neural pathways. Although this takes place across the lifespan as a result of the plastic plasticity of the human brain, there is an explosion of synapse formation that occurs during early brain development known as exuberant synaptogenesis. The first few years of life are important because the brain is very sensitive during this period to early input and because there is also synaptic pruning in which pathways that are not used may be lost. The wiring of the baby's brain during this period takes place as a result of both nature, such as genes, and nurture, such as the environment in which a baby grows up. In terms of the nurture or environmental component, a baby's brain develops as a consequence of both experience expectant and experience dependent processes. Aspects of the brain that are defined as being experience expectant include vision and hearing, social and emotional development, language and higher cognitive functions. The average or normal environment provides infants with the necessary input to develop the neural connections to enable the baby to function across these domains. However, if the baby's brain does not receive input during these critical periods, these functions will be lost permanently. 